Today I will show you how to knit small drawstring bags. I will use them to store the lens for my camera. First I need to have the gauge information so I will use one of the socks that I knitted a few months ago. Now I'm roughly measuring the length needed for the back. We will need the back tubular so don't forget to double up the rows. I need several different size bags so I will take all the measurements. First make sure the racking handle is in its lowest position. Raise 44 needles on the front bed of the machine, 22 to the left and 22 to the right side of the center. Place the edge springs on the last working needles, then raise 44 needles on the back bed of the machine. Place the edge springs on the last working ones. Set both locks to N and the stitch size to 3. Insert the black strippers and take the main color yarn. I'm using two strands of acrylic yarn. Knit one row. Set both locks to CX and increase the stitch size to 5. Lay a piece of yarn over the stitches, tie the ends below the beds and attach a weight. Now knit 4 rows. Rotate the racking handle to its highest position and knit 166 rows. If you rotate the racking handle on the second row, you may ruin the cast on. Now set both locks to N and the stitch size to 3 and a half. Remove the black strippers and insert the orange ones. You can lower the front bed and use a measuring tape to check if the back is the needed length. Now move the edge springs on the back bed and take all stitches on decker comps. Don't forget to support me by liking the video. Lower the front bed and put the decker combs between the beds. Now start from the second stitch on the front bed and transfer them in one to one division. As always, you have to observe the needle rule. Put all empty needles on both beds out of working position. Then place all edge springs on the last working needles. Move the lock to the color changer and retread the machine. Now knit 30 rows. On the front lock increase the stitch size to 5 then set the stitch size on the back lock to 2. Move the edge springs and transfer all stitches to the needles on the front bed. Place the edge springs back on the last working needles and raise the opposite needles on the back bed. Place the edge springs on the last working ones, rotate the racking handle to its lowest position and knit one row. Lower the front bed and use the yellow tool to make a chain stitch cast off. Then cut the yarn from the lock and remove the piece from the machine. Slide the lock to the color changer and put the end of the yarn in the slot at the right. Clear the row counter and set the stitch size on both locks to 3.5. Lower the front bed and rehang the stitches from the decker combs to the front bed. If you don't want to knit rip on the top, you can continue knitting plain.
Rotate the rocking handle to its highest position and attach the weight back to the yarn. Now use the double eye bodkin tool and transfer the stitches in one to one division. You have to observe the needle rule. The procedure is exactly the same as for knitting the other side. I will leave the whole footage so you can see everything. Place the edge springs on the last working needles and make sure all empty ones are out of working position. Now knit 30 rows. On the front lock increase the stitch size to 5, then set the stitch size on the back lock to 2. Move the edge springs and transfer all stitches to the needles on the front bed. Place the edge springs back on the last working needles and raise the opposite needles on the back bed. Place the edge springs on the last working ones, rotate the rocking handle to its lowest position and knit one row. Lower the front bed and use the yellow tool to make a chain stitch cast off. I have a video where I'm showing how to make the cast off up close, I will leave the link for it in the description. Now remove the piece from the machine. This is how the back should look like. Now you have to fold and sew both sides of the rib. It should look like this. Now cut and remove the yarn that we laid in the beginning. You may have holes in the bottom. To remove the holes you have to pull the cast on tail. You may want to wax the beginning of the yarn before knitting. If you find the rip is too thick you may kill the yarn with iron. Insert the strings and your back is ready. That's all for today, have a nice day and see you in my next video.